In this chapter, we will see how we can display data from a MySQL database on our front end and display it in a table. So let's see how it's done. Straight into our code editor, we will need EJS, which stands for Embedded JavaScript Templating. So we will be using EJS for it. So we'll install it. So in our terminal, we can go to our terminal by going to terminal tab and a new terminal. And over here, we will do npm i EJS. So what EJS enables us to do is we can embed JavaScript templating within our HTML files. So once it's done, we'll have to require it in our app.js. So right below where we have declared app.use body parser, we will declare app.use where we are going to use the view engine as EJS. So we will do app.set view engine. And we will set this to EJS. Once we are done with this step, we will also set body parser to get data in JSON format. So we'll do it over here. We will set app.use body parser dot JSON. Since it's a function, we will give it brackets and then close it. All right. Once we are done with it, we will create a new folder over here and call it views. And in this views folder, we will create our EJS templating files. So first, let's configure a root. So in our app.js, let's go down over here. And we will create a get request where we get the data from the server, from the SQL server to our database. So we will do app.get. We will give it a route. And again, it will be our home route since we are using one page for everything. And over here, we will give it a function. Which has two parameters that is request and response. And within our function, we will write an SQL query. So we say where SQL is equal to. So we have to select everything from our database. So we will do select star from test. So test is my database name. You can check it over here. So in our test crud, we have a table called test. So we are selecting everything from here. So select star from test and semicolon. So we will close this. We will establish a connection. So we will do con. That's a connection medium con dot query. We will pass a SQL. So we do SQL comma and then we will pass a function to get any errors and display the errors if at all it occurs. We will also set a parameter called result to get the results. So we will do if error, throw error. And once there is no error, we can set it to redirect. To res dot redirect to our home route since we are using only one route and we will pass in our registration details that we needed to display on the front end. So we will set test colon result. So once we are done with this, we'll close all the codes. And yes, let me save this. So our backend function is ready. Let me go and create an engine. So we will go to our views and create a new file and we will call it display dot EJS. 
This is same as HTML. So we will create a HTML boilerplate. And over here, we will give it the display of display. And in our body, we can create a table where we are displaying the data. So we will create a table tag. In the table tag, we will create a table heading. And this heading will be ID. Another heading. This will be name. And another heading for email. So once we are done with the table headings, we can create the data to be displayed. And we have to enclose all of these data in a table row. So we will do TR, enter, and paste all of this within the TR. Yes. So here we will write our EJS function. So we can write an EJS function by using lesser than percentage and a condition. So EJS allows us to write condition within our HTML code. So I'll write if test dot length is greater than zero. So if the length is greater than zero, we are going to print the data. So we open the loop. So every line, whenever we write it, we have to close it. So after this, in our new line, we will again open it. All right. So in the middle, we will write our code. And we will write a for loop to print all the data. So for variable i is set to 0, i is less than the length of the registration. So it is test dot length. We have to increment i. And as again, we have to close it over here. It's percentage and yeah. So after this, over here within our for loop, we are going to print the data. So we will do table row. Within the table row, we will have our table data. And in our table data, we are going to print the data. So we will do lesser than percentage test, which is our table name of i, which is the current iteration and the table data or the column name. So let me go to our structure and open our test. So in our test structure, we have a column called id, username and email. So let me go to structure and copy all of them. So I will copy id, I will copy username and I will copy email. All right, let me go back to our code. And over here, we will have to display id. So we will say id and in a new line, we will create another table data. Over here, we will display our name, so percent test of i, that is the iteration dot username, and we will close it. We will also close the id. We will also close the EJS for ID and we'll add hyphens over here to display the data. All right. So we'll have another table data where we are going to print our email. So percent hyphen test of I, which is the iteration medium dot email, and we will close it. So once we are done with it, we will close our table row 
and once we are done with closing our table row we will just end the loops now after this we will have to add a else condition for this if condition so over here we will specify else open go to a new line and we'll have to close this line again and over here we write a h1 and the h1 will say data not found so if the length is greater than 0 the inner of the loop is executed and if at all there is no data our else condition is executed where it displays data not found let me save this since we are going to use ejs to display the data and everything is going to be displayed on a single page we will bring the form to this page itself so let's go to our form.html and copy the div to div we we'll just copy it and in our view display.ejs we will just paste it before our table so now this is a good time to display the use of css and how to embed css in our node.js application if at all we have a css file over here it won't execute we will have to add it in another folder called public and serve it as a public file so we will create a folder called public and in our public folder we will create another css file which is called style.css and in our styles.css we will target the container and give it some padding so we will do dot for class and container over here we will give it a padding of 20 pixels let me save this and now we will have to serve this public folder to our node.js so we will go to app.js and in our app.js we will scroll up to the portion where we have used app.use and over here we will set it to public use so we will do app.use express dot static and inside this we will provide the folder name so it's public So now what Express will do is every time we load a page, it will go into the public and send all the files within the public directory to our HTML pages so that our CSS and JavaScript can be loaded. Let me save this. We will have to change the route to. So once we are hitting the home route, we will not send a file, but we will render a page. So we will do res.render. display.ejs let me save our code and run it so we will go to our terminal and hit node mod which is the app running engine we'll set app.js so once we are server is running successfully and our database is connected successfully we will go to our browser so we'll hit windows and r over here you can just type all the route and keep it ready so that you don't have to hit it every time so it's a home route for me enter so we have an error over here where we haven't closed the tag for our ejs let me see where the error is so in our ejs file we have closed it over here over here we have an error the percentage has to come before the greater than symbol all right so we have closed it over here we have closed it over here Closed it over here and over here. so once we are done with debugging the error let me save our app.js to restart the server we'd also have to change the res.redirect to res.render let me render the page and we will render display.ejs we can either write display.ejs or just display 
and node.js will do its thing and identify it and the views so let me save this go to my browser and hit localhost 3000 so here we can see that our form is ready and even displaying all the data so let me test it so in our name this time we will give it a name of sam and we will give sam at test.com once we submit our form we can see that a new entry is added and we can see the name sam over here so that's all for this video guys see you in the next video where we create a delete and update request